Hey guys, welcome back to another Sevenfold Farm YouTube video. Today we are going to be doing some of our fencing and we just got some new fencing. So stay tuned to the end so you can see. Hey guys, hello, it's Jeremy, Dad, Sevenfold Farm YouTube channel. The kids asked me just for a minute if I would, maybe just to give a rundown of a little bit of the specs, uh, the, the why of why we chose this fencing style, uh, this project and what it all entailed in order for us to continue to, uh, as I like to say, reclaim the land. Here we are in Southwest Missouri, what I feel like is reclaiming this land. It's beautiful timber country. Uh, we have awesome oak, we've got amazing black walnut, we've got uh, hickory, we've got maple trees growing on the property, some hedge, and then just a lot of other riffraff, a lot of red bud and a lot of other of the native trees here to this, to this region. But in order for us to be able to, if you want to pan over this way a little bit, in order for us to achieve what we want to achieve with clearing this brush, and getting this accessible for us to really realize all the benefits of having this amazing timber and to get into this underbrush, we've just chosen to do that with goats. Uh, right now we have 14 Kiko goats uh, that we've enclosed an area that is, I'm guessing, somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 to 13 acres of our property. So, as you can see here, uh, we've come off of, uh, again, the nice thing about having a hedge uh, population here on the property is the ability to make our own corner post. So that's what you see there is a nice heavy duty uh, lifetime warranty on that. I guarantee that hedge post will, will be here long before, or I'm sorry, long after uh, Seven Fold Farm is, is done and gone with this property. We've got uh, T posts on 20 foot spacing. This is a five strand high tensile wire electric fence. Um, so we've got our charger down there on the corner post. We're coming off with five strands of hot wire. Uh, the yellow ribbons, if you've noticed those on the top wire, those are just there for a visual signature for the dogs, for the goats, for the wildlife even, for the deer that run through this property, uh, just so that they see the wire, so that everybody understands uh, if we have uh, neighbors or friends or family out here, uh, so that they know that that yellow flag is a caution and that's an alert that, hey, that thing will light you up. Uh, we bought a great big old Gallagher charger. I'm running about six joules of power off of that charger, pushing through these five strands. It's about 2,800 linear feet of fencing times five strands puts us well up over that 11, 12,000 feet of wire that we had to purchase and run. Uh, big shout out to Triple L Fencing, Jim Long, his wife, his son, Jaden. Uh, they were out here helping us out with this project and they did a fantastic job. As you can see, we run all the way from west all the way to the far east boundary of our property. It shoots back to the far southeast corner where there's another massive oak tree for a corner post where we've just used lag screws and ceramic insulators just to tie that off nice and tight to that oak tree. And then poof, shoots back out to the west all the way up to the front corner and encloses like what I said, it's about 12 or 13 acres. The goats have tons of food. Everybody's fat and happy. The dogs are loving it. Lots of room to run and 
we're going to increase the likelihood that we're going to be able to get here and access this timber and continue to do the forestry management sounds like a kind of an official term i don't know if i'm that sophisticated to be doing uh forestry management there with my sunglasses i don't know if i'm actually doing forestry management or not but it sure makes sense to me. So that's just a little bit more about our fencing project. Be sure and like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time right here at Seven Pole Farm.